Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is number six in our series of advanced Java multi-threading tutorials from Cave of Programming. And in this tutorial we're going to look at countdown latches. Um, so we saw um, earlier on um, in the series of tutorials that you can get into a lot of terrible, terrible problems um, with thread synchronization if you try to access um, even so much as an integer from multiple threads at the same time. But fortunately, there are a bunch of classes in Java that are thread safe and that you can um, really safely access from multiple threads without worrying about thread synchronization. And Countdown Latch is one of them. This is a really great class that you should definitely um, know if you're going to use any multi-threaded code. A countdown latch lets you um, count down from a number that you specify. I will specify three here. It could be anything, of course. And um, it lets um, one or more threads wait until um, the latch reaches a count of zero. So um, one or more threads can count down the latch. And when it finally equals zero, then um, one or more threads that are waiting on the latch can then proceed and carry on. So um, let's see how that works. And um, I'm sure you can think of a whole bunch of interesting usage, usages for this. Um, and of course, this can, this can be one, um, sometimes just for very simple inter-thread um, communication. But I'll, I'll create a thread um, class here. Well, I'll, I'll create a... Um, a class that implements the runnable interface so that I can run it in its own thread. I'll say class processor um, implements runnable and um, I'll add the public void run method here and what I'm going to do is I, I want to be able to pass um, each of these processors the latch so that it can use it so I'm going to add um, a private variable count down latch latch and while I'm at it I'll press control shift O to add the um, import in Eclipse and then I'll add a constructor public processor that accepts a count down latch count down latch latch and just sets this dot latch equal to latch OK, um, now in run, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'll have a sysout in here so that we know when this thread started and I'll say started and I'll simulate some useful processing as usual by doing thread.sleep and let's have three seconds and I will handle the exception with a try catch and um, of course, there are lots of lots of possibilities with countdown latch, but um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that when the thread's finished, I will count the latch down. You could count it down anywhere in your thread. Um, so I'll say latch dot count down. So um, every time count down is called, the value that I specified here will be count counted down by one. And notice I'm not doing I'm not using the, the synchronized keyword here um, because. Um, this is a thread safe class and that's what's so good about it. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn off like uh, three of these processors and I could do that with the thread class or I could use an executor. So I'll use um, executor service executor equals executors dot um, new well let's do control shift O to add the Import and then I can say uh, new um, fixed thread pool, and I'll have um, I'll have three threads in my thread pool, and um, and what I'll do is I'll in a loop I'll submit um, um, three processors. So basically each thread is going to get a processor. I equals naught. I less than um, 3 I plus plus and for each one I'll say executor dot um, submit and I'll add in a new processor 
and I'll give the processor a latch, a reference to the latch. Um, and so each processor, this is going to create three, th three threads and each thread is going to get one processor. So um, arguably overkill for a thread pool, but you can kind of see the possibilities here. Like you could have, um, you could have, for example, uh, three threads here and I could create here, you know, like a hundred processors and I could count down um, from 100 to zero, let's say. And then in my main thread here, I'm going to just do latch.await. And there's also a version of await that takes a timeout. But what await does is it waits until the countdown latch has counted down to zero. And you're not limited to putting await in your main program thread here. You could put it in any number of threads. So for example, I could have almost kind of the inverse situation here where I have a bunch of threads that are all, all waiting. And in my main program, I could just count down from one to zero to sort of unleash the unleash the threads and kind of unleash the hounds type effect. Um, okay, so I'll handle this interrupted exception here. And then here, um, just to show that we've finished waiting, I'll type sysout control space. Whoop, sysout and um, completed. So when I run this, all my threads will start and then each one will call countdown after three seconds. And each countdown um, decrements this um, latch by one. And when it reaches zero, a wait finally returns and completed is executed. So a very useful class and there are um, a whole bunch of extremely useful high level multi-threading classes in Java that basically means you will probably never have to muck about with um, things like notify and um, and you probably won't have to use synchronize very much either if you're careful. So um, we'll, we'll probably look at some more of those classes in future tutorials and um, for now you can find this code on caveofprogramming.com and until the next tutorial